This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis will address the country on Wednesday night at 8 p.m. regarding the continued comprehensive measures his administration is taking to combat the recent surge in COVID-19 cases. In a statement, the Prime Minister says the COVID-19 pandemic is the worst crisis in our country's modern history. Throughout, the government has instituted a variety of measures focusing on saving lives and livelihoods. He adds, that as the fight continues, we must remain focused on prevention, preparedness, and the future. The Prime Minister will announce a series of measures to assist with care of people hospitalized with COVID-19 measures to limit the further spread of the virus and an update on the country's efforts to secure more vaccines. According to the statement, the Prime Minister is focused on implementing policies that protect Bahamians while allowing commerce to continue in a safe and responsible manner. Manner. The country's economy has shown substantial gains on the road to recovery in recent months. It is imperative, he says, that this continues. The Prime Minister seeks to ensure that while acting to save lives, Bahamians are able to earn a living. Police are questioning an armed boat captain who allegedly threatened his crew while at sea. Royal Bahamas Defense Force officials say its operations center responded to a distress call shortly before noon on Sunday from a crew member aboard a 95-foot white pleasure craft that was located off Highborn Key, who claimed that the captain was acting erratically towards the crew and passengers. Royal Bahamas Defense Force officers were dispatched to investigate the American-registered craft, located and discovered an illegal 9mm pistol with a magazine and 10 live rounds of ammunition. The weapon was not registered or declared to Bahamas Customs. The vessel and crew were eventually escorted into the capital late Sunday night and the captain and crew were handed over to the relevant authorities and are now being questioned. And with confirmation of the Alpha and IOTA variants of COVID-19 already in the Bahamas, and with health experts working to determine the Delta variant is also in country, it is highly recommended by health officials that Bahamians continue to follow the health and safety protocols, including social distancing, washing of hands, and wearing face masks. But how effective is the latter? In this report, Argerino Saunders tells us of a new line of face masks that were recently donated to the Bahamas. Bahamas Olympic team and they may become available for the general public in the coming days. For many, it is unthinkable that the Bahamas and much of the world finds itself in yet another wave of the coronavirus pandemic. Many residents are looking for ways to remain safe while moving about and a Bahamian-based company is introducing what could be added protection against the virus. Axol Limited, who recently donated its new high-tech single and double-ply COVID-19 face masks to the Bahamas Olympic team to Tokyo, says its masks are 90 to 99 percent effective against airborne variants. Company director Henrik Moose described the masks as groundbreaking new technology, adding that the single-layer mask filtrates 90 percent, while the double-ply mask filtrates 99 percent of all viruses and bacteria. This has all been scientifically proven by accredited labs in the United States. Mr. Moose says the high-tech masks will soon be available to the general public. We're starting to roll them out now. Uh, so this is basically our launch uh, together with the Olympics teams. But they will be uh, in store at the Gonite Pools of Nassau. And we're right now reaching out to distributors uh, on the island to set up a wider distribution of these masks. Of course, when we hear terms like new technology, groundbreaking and scientifically proven, it makes one wonder how affordable the new COVID face masks will be. Mr. Moose does not anticipate costs being a barrier to the general public accessing the new nanofiber anti-COVID masks. Well, these masks, you can actually use them for a month. So they're reusable. So if you, want, if you compare them to the N95, they're much cheaper. But obviously, if you compare them to a piece of cloth, they are more expensive, right? So it's all a matter of do you want the good protection? Do you want to have a mask that's very comfortable? Then it'll cost you like 50 cents a day to wear these masks. According to Mr. Moose, the new masks that reduces fog on glasses and are very breathable will be widely available to the general public in the coming days. Jorino Saunders for JCN News. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us. This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.